No, I was just saying, I think one of my favorite things about van life is that you discover places that you literally would never go to if you weren't living in a van. Hello everyone and welcome back. If you're new here, we're Cheska and Ben. We live full time in our self-converted sprinter van, Sophia, along with our little hitchhiker, River. We're currently exploring the UK as we wait for River to get her pet passport and we're definitely making the most of our own backyard. <laughs> Join us this week for a road trip as we head north and discover some hidden gems we never knew existed. This is what van life is about. Subscribe and join us for the ride. Yeah, we need to get moving because yeah. oh. if somebody if somebody parked behind. Yeah, chest for me this week. Mm -hmm. Good morning, everyone. We have woken up on the cliff tops just outside of Ilfracombe in North Devon. I'm sure quite a few of you will probably know about this little parking spot but we're suddenly in a bit of a hurry to leave because we're starting to get blocked in by the day parkers. Day yeah, parkers, is that what word? Oh, oh there's another bag. Yeah, we need to get moving because yeah. oh. if somebody, if somebody parks behind. Yeah, chest for me this week. But yeah, as you can see, the um, car park is getting pretty full now. Yes, we nearly we, got blocked. We can't really swing it around because of these cars here. So thankfully no one parked behind us. So during this week we're going to be making our way further north to get back to Derby because River's having her rabies vaccinations on Friday which is awesome. So we're just going to kind of like slowly make our way up. How long ago is it now? A couple of weeks ago? Uh, yeah, two, three weeks ago. A couple ago. of weeks ago Ben's mum bought us this Great British Adventure Map and it is absolutely amazing. It's just, I don't know how to explain it, it's almost like a road map style thing. It's almost like a road map style but just kind of features points of interest and things to go and see, places to explore, and it's really got like the hidden off the beaten path places. Yeah, and cool. as you Google them, some of them like the beaches, are like the little beaches that are hard to get to and like hidden coves and stuff. And you can just kind of see what's around you and then just kind of head there. And that's literally really good, what we're so. gonna do today. So um. we're here in Ilfracombe and we're gonna kind of meander along this like north coast here. I think I want to go to Valley of the Rocks because Ben hasn't been there before and it's a really cool like rock formation valley thing right on the coast and there's like wild goats there and everything so are you ready to go for a walk river she doesn't know the word walk is yet does she hey she doesn't know the word walk is yet she just gives me a blank <laughs> no, stare no, yeah. <laughs> Hey, ready to go for a walk? Now you watch a cloud gather. I don't actually know that much about Valley of the Rocks. I know it's like prehistoric rock formations and there's like feral wild goats around here that like stand right on the edge of like the rock faces and stuff. So we're gonna keep an eye out for them. But it's pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah, it like is. you're kind of in all this like rolling countryside and you just come around this corner. It's a cliff. These, these like jagged rocks everywhere. Asking you what you This is not right. Come on, get One here, another. One here. Up here. One, two, three, go. There go. It's very windy up here, but we basically walked up one of the big rock stacks. And it is just the most epic view from up here. And all these rocks are just like so like jagged and they look like places like, like trolls live or like giants Ooh. live. Like this one here, it's quite precariously balanced. Yeah. You alright there? Oh, it's just taking me for a walk. It's hardly over here, but now it's absolutely ram. Well, that was a fun morning scrambling around these rocks. I've driven through the Valley of the Rocks before, um, so I knew you could drive through, but I didn't actually realise you could go and scramble all up over them. And that was a lot of fun. That was really good. River loved it. I've never she seen her so excited to be like leaping and bounding oh. through over rocks. And yeah. Things. It was awesome. She was absolutely loving it there. But she is tucking out down there. Yeah. She? she is fast off. 
we're gonna check out the car. Well, we'll go up, yeah, because he's. So tired, aren't you? But you just want to keep going, <laughs> which is good. We just have to be careful we don't over exercise at a young age, mm -hmm. don't we? We just made it to a beautiful little park up in the Quantock Hills, an area that I've never been to before, Ben's never been to before, and um, yeah, it's just absolutely beautiful here. Um, we're just in like a normal car park, I guess but it's got quite a lot of room and I imagine come the evening it's going to be very very quiet and as you saw the road here is pretty bumpy so I don't think we're going to have too much trouble here fingers crossed and Everywhere see the sea behind oh wow oh that's amazing so we were around that other that other cove today then yeah, we're further along that further. coastline somewhere, yeah. But you guess it doesn't matter. We've had dinner. Ben's just finishing washing up. Slip my finger open. Cut his finger. Slit it open. Almost called 999. We are just gonna go out for a little sunset walk with the 15 other cars that are parked up around us this evening. This is it a popular is. spot for busy, sunset. Busy, busy, isn't it? Yeah. To be honest, it's quite a lot of open space, so I don't think it'll be too crowded. But you always lay in the same. No, I was just saying, I think one of my favourite things about van life is that you discover places that you literally would never go to if you weren't living in a van. Yeah, that's true. And I think for like for us, this is one of them. It's just this little random car park. We would have never driven to this sort of never, this no. top car park in the middle of nowhere, would we? In no. fact, and come across this like gorgeous place where yeah. obviously everyone else comes to. You're a local. Yeah, it's just such a beautiful spot. There's apparently deer around here. We did see some deer poo, so I reckon that. Uh, um, that's as close as we've got. One thing we have noticed is how friendly people are here in this like, particular yeah. spot. We've spoken to so many people today who just about walking past and just on the walk Chatted and stuff. And Everyone is just so nice and friendly here. I think River's a very good conversation starter. She's a she? brilliant. We, do you know what? In the past <coughs> couple of weeks since we started taking her out, I've spoken to more people, I think, than in the past year. Yeah. You're just going to Look at that. Can you see it's like a 360 degree view? Wow. Songs talk about flying away, but you always lay in the same damn place. Say, fill my glass up one more time, drinking air. Go, go on, go, 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 go. Look at little legs. Go, 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 River. Go, go. <laughs> go, go. <laughs> she like frog hops. No. So we had a really peaceful night here last night. We were the only ones here. Yeah, it was gorgeous. Yeah, it? it was really lovely and um, there's actually from seven o'clock this morning some dog walkers coming here so there's probably about one, two, three, six cars here right now. Yeah, yeah. So. Yeah, I'll just quickly show you what the car park looks like. So it's quite a big park up. There's a tiny, tiny bit of a slope up there but it's a, a lot better down here. And yeah, so quite a lot of space and then backing onto these trees. So yeah, this is where we went last night onto this beacon hill and today we're going to go down here through the valley along the bottom and back up along the top and back down again. Oh she's not so scared anymore. Yeah Chess has persuaded me to try River off the lead for a bit just whilst she's not manic so we so she's got a good recall at the moment. I'm no. very nervous. You're a nervous dad, aren't you? No, I'm a nervous dad. I don't want to fall in Come on, come on. Here. Yeah? Good girl. Good girl. So River's doing a brilliant off lead. There isn't actually much space for her to run away into, which is why we've done it here. Because there's just ferns on either side of us. 
so she's but she's quite happy following along her recourt's really good here so that's good and we just come down this little kind of valley saw two deer on top of the hill which is really cool it's just so peaceful here okay so so that's the valley we've uh, just walked through and then we walked up the hill and now I think we're on the right track to head back towards Sophia. So we've just seen some horses just like grazing up on the heathland here. They're kind of, they're out and about like Dartmoor ponies or Exmoor ponies but they're like proper looked after beautiful horses. So I don't know if people just let their horses like roam, graze up here. I don't know how you'd easily find them. We've seen a few but there's like up there, aren't we? yeah just four absolutely beautiful horses and the reason i'm out of breath <laughs> is because you somebody just, you just had just, to do a usain bolt after i just did a usain bolt after because she would not come back when she caught sight of the horses and um oh there's, oh, there's, oh, there's a few more up here oh there's loads up here beautiful part of the country um, I just can't get over how friendly the people are I know we said that yesterday but we met even more people on the walk today and I think we can like we could tell you something about everybody that we met yeah, like yeah. everyone was just like telling stories and like just interested in you and like it was just such a lovely lovely place um, and they had no problems with the fact we were parked up there no no problems at all it was just really? perfect park up basically that was Really lovely. So now we're going to head off towards Glastonbury. We were going to do Glastonbury tour, um, but I think we're, we're trying. We can't walk river too much at the moment. So I think the Glastonbury tour is like a three-mile walk. So I think that's a little bit too much river at the moment. So we might pop into Glastonbury itself and then maybe do the tour when we drive back down to Devon. So We've got Ben's hoodie on because it's getting a bit chilly now. But we have had a change of plan. We're not going to do Glastonbury anymore today because we figure we may as well just do it all together. So we're going to do probably on the way back down to Devon next week, we'll probably do Glastonbury and Glastonbury tour and go and explore it properly. Which means today we're thinking we are heading over towards Wales. So we're going to get up past Bristol and then cross over the Seven. Seven, River Seven and head into Wales and kind of just hang around there for a couple of days and just see what there is to do. But yeah, Glastonbury is on hold until next week. Well, we've made it to Wales into a pretty nice little car park. I actually have no idea whereabouts we are. Let me show you though what, we, what the situation's like. So it's down a pretty quiet road. And then there's one other car here. It's actually got the most beautiful view of the valley behind. It's clouded over a bit now though, hasn't it? Yeah, it has a little bit, hasn't it? It's still really warm though. We're not going to do anything too strenuous for the rest of today because I think this one has had a lot of exercise the past couple of days. She is knackered. Yeah, she's a bit... Don't want to overdo it for her. She's a bit worn out, isn't she? Yeah. So yeah, we're just going to get some work done this afternoon. Maybe have a little stroll down into the woods this evening. Oh, someone's in there. Right there, River. And um, yeah, have a stroll into the woods this evening. Hopefully, get a nice sunset over this valley. Yeah. So you know we said like one car is parked next to us, which is this one. We actually think it's like been abandoned <laughs> because the doors are open. It looks like it's a bit of a state and there's been people coming and going. I don't think it's a huge walk around here. I doubt someone has been out walking from here no. all day. And Be it doesn't look like the best car. Yeah, and it's open, so. Yeah, it's all unlocked, isn't it, so. Yep. 
We will see. Okay, see if it's here left. later. Yeah. Oh, what a beautiful view. Mm -hmm. you know, no matter how many times I come to Wales, I always love how it feels and how it looks. <laughs> how it feels and how it looks. Oh, it's, it's a gorgeous place, Wales. It's one of those places we've said that once we've done everything we want to do in a van and everything, and say we want to like build our own home and everything, Wales would be like a place we'd look seriously look at wouldn't it just because yeah. it's you know how it looks Wales and Ireland I think are the two two favorites aren't they for yeah. us River River <laughs> what you got so what is really good is that is that it's eight o'clock at night it's slightly overclassed but there's like the last bit of the sun and we're only using just under eight watts and we're on 99.9% our batteries and we've been here since what half two so mm -hmm. what six hours and we've had our laptops charged what you know all the, the fridge everything running and it's just so nice that we've hardly well that our batteries are just completely topped up or just been running from awesome. solar it's so nice so it's such a good feeling isn't yeah it? it's like a sense of achievement isn't it that you know, it's been like self-sufficient. Self-sufficient. Yeah. Self-sufficient in a diesel van. But you try and offset it, don't you, with, you know, so I still think, despite like the fact you're driving a diesel van, you still have less of an impact and a footprint than if you were in a house with loads of, like, running water and electricity on. Yeah, you, know, you just leave, you know, leave your, you just leave an upstairs light on all day or all night. And whereas, you know, we don't have that luxury. Um, and it's rather nice. Morning, eh? It was such a peaceful night here last night and then just to wake up to this view is just amazing. The car is still here so I'm guessing this definitely has been abandoned but um, apart from having this as our neighbour it's a beautiful spot isn't it? Yeah. So we were going to head today to a place called Puzzlewood which I think is in Gloucestershire um, and it's basically like this like twisted woodland and stuff that you can walk around apparently inspired like lord of the rings and stuff and it's actually where me and ben went on one of our first dates but um you can't take dogs with you there unfortunately so i think instead we're just going to try and find a nice little walk in the forest of dean which is a beautiful forest in the southwest of england and yeah just see what we can find So here we are in the Forest of Dean. It's absolutely beautiful today. Well, that was a lovely little walk around. Part of the Forest of Dean? The Forest of Dean? Part of it, yeah. Part of the Forest of Dean. Um, oh, did you try this fighting? Sorry, I got easily distracted then. <laughs> yeah, it was a lovely walk uh, around the Forest of Dean, or part of the Forest of Dean. But, we do have to get to Derby now, so I think we are just back, nearly back at the van. We're gonna hop in, quickly dra grab a drink, all three of us, and then yeah, make our way up. Up north. Up north. Top north. Up north. Wow. Well, Say goodbye to the to south west from me. I'm from Devon, so everywhere north of Exeter is north for me. So we're already up north. Is we're, already, to we're already up north for me. Yeah. But yeah, that's been a lovely week, isn't it? Yeah. It's been We've actually been. Like all over the place. And last week we were a bit, our plans got a bit scuppered with this and that. Whereas this week we didn't really put any plans in. We got to one place and then it wasn't until sort of the next day or the that evening we were like, right, should we go here? We had no intentions of going to Wales this week. And um, we've been to Wales, in the forest the of the Dean, the Quantock Hills. Um, yeah, it's been a really, really good week. I've really enjoyed myself. Have you? Good, yes. Good. Tell me, so it's like a Valley Gorge? We're not in Valley Gorge, what's it called? Valley of the Rock. Valley of the Rock, yeah. So we had a casualty, I don't think we put the grill away. Which means we've got breadcrumbs everywhere. Right, okay. River, here! <laughs> <laughs> 